All right, welcome back. Spring Hill Hospital is using a new life saving technology. It's called the Watchman and it's described as a game changer for patients on blood thinners, but they just can't tolerate or afford long term use of it. I've got Dr. Scott Kirby, a cardiologist at Spring Hill Medical Center in with me today to talk more about this new technology. So I love talking about technology, but even more so when it's life-saving technology. Sure. Describe the Watchman, because we just gave a little brief description. Right, it's for patients with atrial fibrillation. And atrial fibrillation is a, speaking of an epidemic, a pandemic in the United mm. States, they're predicting that 20 million people by 2030 are gonna have atrial fibrillation. And it's cause of one in seven strokes is atrial fibrillation. So mm -hmm. if we can prevent the area that uh, produces the clot from the clot getting out and going up to the brain, we can prevent strokes. And not everybody is a candidate for anticoagulation, blood thinners, so this right. has really been a game changer for us. It's, I'm glad that you mentioned blood thinners because this really is going to make a difference for those patients. And, and you said it's a twofold, either they can't tolerate it or maybe they can't afford it. Right, and people with fixed income, we know um, when they get into the Medicare uh, ages, uh, these uh, novel blood thinners that we use now can be very expensive, thousands of dollars a year. So if we can get those patients, but as patients get older, the risk of bleeding goes up. So you have to balance that risk benefit ratio. And if we determine that giving them blood thinner is too much risk, mm -hmm. then this is now a viable option, which has been just wonderful for us. And of course, this is to help prevent stroke. Prevent, exactly. Mm -hmm. Anybody with atrial fibrillation, it's when the top chamber of the heart gets disorganized mm -hmm. and it's not beating and washing the walls off, mm -hmm. corners and edges, and especially the left atrial appendage, mm -hmm. um, is a little pocket um, here on the heart here on the left side that mm -hmm. sticks out. So this is an expandable plug that we come up and then expand that into that pocket. Now any clots that form in that low flow area cannot escape. Mm -hmm. So they're blocked there and we don't need long-term blood thinner. Just baby aspirin is all those patients will be in. Now what type of a procedure are we talking about here? It is it takes typically about 30 minutes to do the procedure. Oh, it's wow. just one small Quick. IV in the leg. Yeah. So it's all catheter based, just mm -hmm. one IV in the vein of the leg. And we go up and we'll do a cat scan before to determine exactly what that individual patient's uh, appendage looks like and we uh, measure and get the device just for them and deploy an expandable plug into that appendage and everything comes back out. We typically watch them overnight just because of the blood thinner used the procedure in the IV but they're out by 10 o'clock the next morning. That's about five days. They don't do jumping jacks or anything yeah. too, too uh, extreme, but mm -hmm. by a week, there are no limitations to their activity and they're well on their way to getting off blood thinner. Really quickly, because I'm being told that we're, we're out of time here. I could talk about this all day, but regarding this technology, you know, when you heard about it and it was available at the hospital, what was your first reaction? I need that technology. Yeah. I have so many patients mm -hmm. that are going to be candidates. This is such a wonderful thing to get people off of blood thinner mm -hmm. and just as a cardiologist, as an electrophysiologist, when we see these new technologies, when you see it come down, you see that may not change my practice, but I knew this one was going to be great for our patients. Well, listen, Dr. Kirby, thank you for all the work that you do for cardiac patients and for stopping by. It is humid out here. Appreciate you. Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. And we are going to have this interview posted for you on our YouTube channel so that way you can watch it and share it with someone you know. A really cool technology that we have in our area. So be sure that you subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified when we post a new video on YouTube.